Oh gosh, I don't have time. Oh no, they're coming for me. Hey guys, what's up? Alicia and Lady here and welcome back to Kingdom Craft. I have some bad news. We've been raided. Yes, it seems that the League of Victims has decided to strike back. And the worst part about it all is that I was online while it was happening and I could do nothing to stop it. What you're about to witness next is live footage of these terrifying events. I've just logged in to see all three of the League of Victims are online. So I think it's about time I got round to covering my base with obsidian. I think I may have left it a little too late though. What? What was that? What was that huge explosion? What are these hooligans doing? What the heck is that? Am I being raided like right now? I need to obsidian this base ASAP. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Mummy. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's so loud. Where are they blowing things up? I'm doing a double layer of obsidian. They are not getting through here. Why does my base have to be so big? So much obsidian to protect it. What is... Ah! It's explosions right above me. What the blooming Shrek is going on? Oh my gosh. I need, I need to spend all my money on obsidian. They're going to get into my base. Oh my gosh, what is happening? I don't know what they're doing or how they're doing it. Oh gosh, I don't have time. Oh no, they're coming for me. Help me, help me, help me. I think they've got creepers. I think they've led creepers. Yep, I think I know what's happening. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. They're so close. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay, new plan. They said it won't help to cover my base, so I'm moving out right now. We're going. This is it. Everything in the ender chest. The heads. Collect the heads. Collect everything worth taking. My sword. Oh yes, I need this. Save it all. Oh, my parrots. Can't leave my parrots. And my enchanting table. I need to save it all. That's everything. I can't take the Jeremy's with me. Let's go. I'm getting out of here. What are they doing? I see CPK right there. They're literally right here. Hi guys. Oh no, he's killing me. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, well, that was all my obsidian. Oh no, he has my exploding chest plate. They stole all my stuff. Well, they're coming in from above. That is what they're doing. That is how we'll stop them. At least I can see where they were doing it from now. Wait. Oh my gosh, I'm genius. If I put water, they can't explode creepers. Oh my gosh. Yes, we'll just do that. What is going on? Oh my gosh, that one hurt me. That's close. That is getting close. They are getting super, super close now, guys. Ah! They're killing everything. They're killing me. They're killing themselves. Nothing's going to stop them. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. It's so scary. I mean, I've moved out, so I don't know why I'm still protecting the base. Covering everything in water. They're definitely gonna get in. They've got the exploding chest plate. I think I know what I have to do. This is it. This is it. What am I doing? I'm crazy. Look at it all go. Oh my God, they're here. Oh, I'm protecting myself. This is it guys. They can't have any of this stuff. They've killed me. This is my new home now. Luckily, I have a lot of my stuff, but I've lost all my pride. That's all gone. And my dignity. Oh my goodness. Jeremy made it. Jeremy's alive. <gasps> and Cat Jeremy. Cat Jeremy, you made it out. I don't know how, but I'm so glad you're here. Now stay. Oh, look at them. Look at them in here. Savages. Well, I still have my throne. Hello, Scott. Hello, Shovel. I won't forget this. I'll never forget this. So you're probably wondering, how did this happen? How did they find my base? Why wasn't I prepared? 
First, let me show you on the map where my base was. And I'll give you a clue, it's probably not where you were expecting it to be. So, this is where my base was. Not in the middle of the Alpine faction at all, but in the corner. Nicely tucked in between two safe zone walls. Very nice. And I thought I was pretty safe here. So safe, in fact, that I didn't even bother to surround my base with obsidian until Scott accidentally let it slip that he knew where my base was. And even then I left it until the day that they decided to raid me to try and do something about it. So if we go up to the surface, you'll see that my base was not under here, like so many people thought. And it was not over here, like so many other people thought. It was actually way down here. Well, where they blew a big hole, essentially, because they knew exactly where to look. This is right on top of my base. And I've covered it back up, just in case any of them try to get back down there. Or maybe some of them are stuck down there. They can stay stuck. And now that my base has been exposed anyway, I can let you in on a little secret. In episode 9, my insane challenge to collect every mob head, I accidentally gave away the coordinates to my base. I pressed F3 while standing in my base and I posted the video. And then people started posting comments telling me what I'd done, so I had to go back and blur it out. So, we almost lost the base once before. And I covered it up. Yes, a big scandal for the Alpine Kingdom. Okay, so clearly we're going to need a new base. We can't keep living here, there are giant holes in the ceiling, and it's really flooded. So we'll have to relocate. However, although I was able to save a lot of my cool stuff, all my diamonds and my decorative heads, I don't have any of the basic items because I blew up my own chest room. Yes. <laughs> Why did I do that? Now I'm wondering if I could have done something smarter than that. Oh well, too late now. So, I have nothing. I had tons of mob drops, tons of wood, crops, food, and now I have nothing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is dismantle my base. Just in case anyone does come back, I'm gonna take everything useful. I also just realized I only have $26 left. <laughs> what a waste of money I spent on all that obsidian, which was useless at keeping them out. And... Now we say goodbye to this place. Farewell, beautiful base, though you're not so beautiful anymore. <sighs> we had so many good memories here. Remember the bubble elevator? Boy, that was a mistake. Rest in peace, Bonet. Oh, and remember the time I kept accidentally killing myself with enderpearls in my own base? Ah, oh, good times, good times. Oh, and the ice throne. I'll never get to sit my butt down on the cold ice throne ever again. Now we're gonna have to live out of the villain's base for a little while until I get back on my feet. Okay, I need some armor so that I can go out into the world without dying. Okay, now I've got tools. I need to relocate my base to somewhere even safer. Two hours later. Okay, welcome to my new base. I know it looks kind of pathetic right now, but we'll soon turn this place into home. But look, I've got everything I could ever need. This is fine. This is totally fine. I love this place. It's great. It's so cute and homely. Okay, so obviously this base is gonna have to be different from the last base. Hopefully more adorable and maybe more secure. So if you have any ideas for how I can achieve either of those things, please leave a comment letting me know how to make this the best base.